So I'm starting to put the uh, front end back together so that we can uh, get the motor in and try and see how it fits, where it fits, uh, whether it fits, and obviously take into account where the wheels are going to go and where the drive shafts come out as well. So uh, I'll try and get this built up and see what bits I've got. So that's front hubs kind of just loosely in. Uh, I haven't got all the bits, but gives me an idea of where the drive shaft needs to go. So uh, it's suddenly looking as if there's not a lot of room. Right, there we go. Right, let's try and get the motor out. So uh, starting to take apart some of these electrical connections. All right, so just to let you know what I have done so far is underneath the bonnet, the 12 volt and the high voltage system are disconnected. I have disconnected the battery under the car, which is a very similar, it's the same type of connection as one of these. Okay, so that's connect, that's, uh, that's separated and taped up so that they can't accidentally come back into contact whilst I'm up here. I've then got my multimeter and I've checked the voltage here. Uh, then gone back on a spare battery in the garage. I've checked that the multimeter is working and that is working. I've then come back and double checked this and there is no voltage, okay? Which you would expect because this car's been sat here for God knows how long. It's been an accident, so the battery pack's probably bricked anyway. And I've disconnected the battery pack and that was over a week ago. So there should not be anything left in this system now. But We'll, uh, we'll still be cautious. Right, I'm going to focus on trying to get the KLE out, uh, which is the charger unit at the back. So these, uh, these are the connectors that go to the KLE and off to the charger port and the inverter. And all you've got to do, instead of taking the bolts out and trying to remove the thing <laughs> sorry is pinch there and then the same on the other side pinch and then pull it off so uh, I'll put those screws back in there and then we can start getting the other ones undone and then get that off so I uh, took these cooling pipes off expecting for there to be a flood of coolant there's only that much so whatever was in here so what you do is let's have a look just pull this clip out and then pull it off happy days right let's see what else I need to take apart to get this off there's a connector like this in behind so um, probably won't be able to get the camera in there but I'm just going to do that now, take that off, and then start looking at taking some of these off. E12, so these little beauties, get that done. Let's see where we are.
Let's get out in it. Oh, hello. Yes, beauty. Just so I don't lose anything, I'll pop these back. And then tape up these connectors. This is not me trying to make sure that we don't get caught with electricity. Because that wouldn't be very safe, would it? This is just trying to stop any dirt and crap getting in there. You can see here we've got the old exhaust for the Rex and then there's a bracket here which is holding it onto this which is like the reduction gearboxy type bit for the actual motor for the final drive there you go there's the drive coming out so I'm just gonna take this bracket off so that doesn't get in the way before I forget Try and undo that then. Move the exhaust out of the way, then I can get to the bracket. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Oh, this is fun. Right, let's try and have a rundown of what we've done. So we have disconnected the earth and the positive here. We've disconnected these HV lines here and that connector block there. Just pull that out and it comes up. There's an earth strap here. That's what I'm just doing now. So let's finish that. Just put the bolt back in, otherwise I'll lose it. You know what I'm like. Still trying to figure out how whether I can get this inverter off here, or if I've got to take it out with the motor. Um, it seems to just sort of float on thin air through there. I can't actually see what it's bolted to at the moment. Um, so we've taken off the KLE, which was one, two, three, four bolts, uh, two coolant lines there, some more high voltage connectors, and then uh, uh, that went up to that went up to the inverter there. Um, so I'll just clip that off and get that out of the way. 
I've undone two bolts here which were holding this where is it this bracket on which connects to the Rex exhaust uh, that's about it at the moment um, well uh, I don't know. I'll keep having a look around and see what else is connected right so it looks like this cross member is bolted in so uh, let's get that out of the way So these are the three bolts I'm taking out. Uh, they're all E12 and they are very tight. Not surprising considering it's holding the back of the car together. So there we go. There's the cross member out. Uh, just had to undo these brackets. And that was goes from the KLE up to somewhere. Somewhere in behind the old uh, Rex motor. Right, so I think my next job, which won't be today, is to try and tape off the drive shafts. So I need to do a bit of research, find out if there's any information out there on how to take these off. Um, but that's definitely got to be the next job, I think. Uh, in terms of motor mounts, let's try and have a look to see how this is mounted. We've got, see, there you go, so there's a forward motor mount there, uh, which also seems to double up for the uh, Rex. So I'm going to have to try and untie the two systems. Um, and then we've got the... I don't know if you can see it. Let's have a look, see if I can get to it. There we go. So this is the notorious uh, cracked motor mount. And that's where it's cracked there. So that goes up to the top there. Let's try and have a look, see what else there is. So it looks as if we've got, this is the motor and this is the Rex on this side so it's got a bolt there there's one up there that i can just about see um try and have a look around the top see what there is around the top but uh i'm not sure if it's going to be easy to take them out one at a time or if it's going to be easier to drop them both together and then separate them right so i'm going to do that one and that one and then see if the inverter will pull. Get in you fucker. <sighs> so there you go, I've got two of those, those two bolts out. There is some movement but there's obviously a mounting at the back as well. Uh, Let's try and work out where that is. Right then, everyone, uh, that's the end of this episode. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. It's getting a little bit sort of uh, difficult to separate the videos out now, so you are going to see more BMW and Mini stuff in the same videos. If there's stuff that is specifically to i3 stripped down, I'll keep that in a separate playlist. But as we go on, hopefully more of it will merge together, and hopefully you'll all find that interesting. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers then. Bye.